Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with roasted sweet potato and black bean chili. That's right. Not only are we going to make a delicious vegetarian chili recipe, we're also going to hopefully help in the fight against global childhood malnutrition. So I'm actually posting this recipe on behalf of my friends at one.org. There's a bunch more info in the description along with links so you could sign the nutrition petition like I did. And I'll remind you later, but for now, let me just show you how to make this delicious chili. And it starts with the aforementioned superfood, sweet potatoes. Oranged flesh sweet potatoes, super nutritious, and luckily for us, very delicious. So the secret to my sweet potato chili recipe is the roasting first of the sweet potatoes. So what we're going to do is we're going to peel three sweet potatoes. All right, I'm going to cut them in half. I'm going to cut them across like that, and then into cubes about that size. All right, you know the mantra, pick your own size cube and stick with it. As long as they're about the same, you're good to go. We're going to throw those in a mixing bowl, and we're going to spice those up with some chipotle pepper that is hot ground smoked jalapeno. All right, I'm also going to give it a nice big pinch of salt and a little bit of olive oil. And we're going to toss those until everything's coated. At that point, we're going to go ahead and throw those on a baking sheet in one single layer. We're going to go ahead and throw those in a hot oven, 400 degrees, for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, or until the inside's tender and the outside is kind of crusty. And by roasting those sweet potatoes first like this, when we add those to the chili, they're going to have a much better, much meatier texture. All right? And then we're just going to let those cool down to room temperature while we get the base of the chili together, which is almost as easy. So in a Dutch oven or some kind of big kettle, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of olive oil over medium heat. I'm going to throw in my onions and garlic along with a diced up red bell pepper. And then I decided to slice up a jalapeno and throw that in. All right, I left them whole. I didn't scrape out the membrane, so it's going to be a little spicy. That's okay. I threw in some cumin, some ancho chili powder, and some dried oregano. And I'm going to let that saute together for about five minutes. All right, I really don't want any browning happening on the onions or the garlic, which shouldn't be a problem. You got a lot of moisture there with the vegetables. But I do like to cook in the spice a little bit at this point, as you know. All right, and after about five or six minutes, mine looked like that. At that point, I dumped in a big can of diced tomatoes, or as some people call them, tomatoes. Pretty much any kind of tomato product will work. I'm also going to give it a big splash of water. And at that point, we're going to raise the heat up to high because we want to bring this up to a simmer. And while that's happening, we can go ahead and add in a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar, and a tablespoon of cornmeal, which I know might sound a little strange, but it really does give the chili a beautiful body. And then, of course, the secret ingredient, a teaspoon of unsweetened cocoa. Oh, yeah. That's going to do stuff. Exotic, mysterious, but very good stuff. So you want that in there. And once your chili starts to bubble and boil, I want you to adjust the heat to keep it at a nice steady simmer. And we're going to cook that for 30 minutes. And you can see that color kind of darkens up. It's already looking very luscious. And it doesn't even have the good stuff in it yet. So at that point, it's simmered for 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a couple cans of drained, rinsed black beans. Don't buy the cheap brand. They all fall apart. Buy the expensive cans of beans or cook your own. I'm going to stir those in, and then we're going to stir in our roasted, now cooled, sweet potatoes. If you just dump those sweet potatoes in without roasting them first, they would kind of soften and fall apart, and you'd have like a big mess. By roasting them first, they actually get like a crusty exterior that kind of tightens them up. They taste even more awesome, and they will not fall apart in this chili. It is a great, great technique. At this point, I want you to evaluate your liquid level. If it looks a little dry like mine did, I'm going to add another splash of water because I want to be able to simmer the beans and the sweet potatoes in the chili for about 15 minutes. And if it's too dry, you're going to need a little more liquid. So that was me adjusting. And at that point, you don't have much to do other than simmer it, like I said, about 15 minutes and then taste and adjust. And you know the drill. It's probably going to need some salt. There's a very good chance I snuck some cayenne in there. So you're going to want to taste for heat. And once you are completely and thoroughly happy with how it's seasoned, go ahead and ladle that into a bowl. I'm going to garnish with a little bit of sour cream and cilantro. And that is done. Roasted sweet potato and black bean chili. And that tasted just as good as it looked. So delicious I forgot it was vegetarian. And that's not easy for me to do, as you know. 
I really think you're going to enjoy that. And I also really hope you go check out the info in the description. I know we try to avoid real life as much as possible on Food Wishes, but I was amazed to find out over 2 million children a year die from malnutrition. And I really think the Sweet Potato Campaign by One.org could make a difference. So I hope you go check it out. And I also hope you give this recipe a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.